Just because you're BBC. I think, I don't know who's been doing it, but I think, um, what's it? What's their name? I think Instagram deserve a lot of credit. Like whoever's responsible for Instagram marketing, those guys are definitely earning their money because I've seen more promo, more blood cart promo for this up and coming app they got, Freds, than I've seen for any other app. And it's not even launched yet. I've seen people promoing this app and saying it's available to kind of pre-order or pre-download. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know you could pre-download apps ahead of its release date. But this is what's happening with Flipkin Instagram because I guess they're trying to take advantage with all the fucking bad sentiment out there that exists around Flipkin um, Twitter and stuff. They want to take advantage of it and strike while the iron's hot and basically show people, hey, we can do Twitter stuff too. So this is Curse Your BBC. It says, Fred's Instagram owner to launch a Twitter rival on Thursday. So if you're out there and you're looking to grab a good username or whatever, make sure you jump on this on Friday and get involved. So it says Facebook owner Meta is launching its rival app to Twitter and says it goes live on Thursday. The app, which is called Freds, is available to pre-order on the Apple App Store and will be linked to Instagram. Screen grabs show a dashboard that looks similar to Twitter. Meta describes Freds as a text-based conversation app. It kind of feels like to me... This is an extension of that horrible feature they've got on fucking Instagram on stories. I'd never check it on DM. Sorry. If you go to your DMs on Instagram at the top, there's like these little bubbles and it shows people that you're friends with and they post little captions. I don't know what the point of it is, to be fair. People just write like stupid little dear diary nonsense on there all the time. It's really, fu it's really obnoxious and annoying, but I think that's a fucking... Uh, evolution of that because I think even though I don't use it I think a lot of people do use that little status update thing on Instagram so they probably saw the numbers saw the gap in the market and thought you know what let's strike while the iron's hot and got in there fair play it continues last month the pair agreed to a physical fight though it's unclear oh sorry what's this what are you talking about here Okay, it's not well. Um, meanwhile, Twitter has said that the a popular user dashboard TweetDeck will go behind a paywall in 30 days' time. The movie is the latest push by Mrs. Musk to... What is this news about? Why are they giving me other news about the other thing? I want to think about Meta. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go here. So, it appears from Meta's Fred's app that it will be a free service and there will be no restriction on how many posts a user can see. Freds is where communities come together to discuss everything from topics you care about today to what will be trending tomorrow. The description on the app store says pictures show screen grabs from the app that look almost identical to Twitter. Let's see. Yeah, it does. All, it does basically look identical to Twitter. Um, you basically got. Oh, that's how it's going to work. Interesting. So effectively, you know, in your Instagram feed where you have pictures and videos, that square will just be your text. So you'll write your status update. So it'll be like a, a bigger version of a tweet. So it'll be like a square version of a tweet on your feed. And then the comments are the replies to that tweet, if you get what I mean. That's how it's going to basically work, which is quite interesting, to be fair. Um, but I wonder if they're going to end up merging them together and probably make the you know both apps living one app and then you have a tab you can flick between the, 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 the other two. That's a pretty interesting thing. But it'd be good to have it split. So it's just because as much as I enjoy Twitter... Sometimes it is quite text, so it is quite picture, meme, and video heavy. So it'll be quite nice to have an app that is just all text. That'd be pretty sick. All text and pictures, all text and video. Yeah, it'd be interesting, isn't it? So I wonder if it'll be all text and video. Or so it'll be all text, or it'll be text video with with pictures, or it'll be text and pictures only. I would personally prefer it if it just was all pictures. So all text. Just to kind of differentiate from everything out there because everything out there at the moment, every social media app, even a new one at the moment that everyone's running onto called Spill, that everyone on Twitter thought was black owned and only for black people. And now the owner had to come out and say, no guys, we're for everybody, right? And now the black people are getting angry in America. But even that app, you can still do memes and pictures. So it'd be quite nice if there was an app that existed that was just straight up text. But I'm sure they're not going to do that because, you know, they leave you a lot of money on the table if they don't do the fucking text and video stuff. So fair play. It continues. Threads will also hoover up data on your phone, including location data, purchases, and browsing history. We don't care about that. We give enough data. You know, everyone knows where everyone is at any time. Um, several apps that bear a striking resemblance to Twitter have sprung up in recent years, such as Donald Trump's so Truth Social and Mastodon. Another similar app called Blue Sky claimed to have seen record traffic after Mr. Musk moved 
move to restrict usage on the weekend. However, threads could be the biggest threat to Twitter to date. Mark Zuckerberg has history of borrowing other people's ideas. Um, Meta's Reels is widely known as a TikTok copy, while stories look similar to Snapchat. Meta has the resources to compete with Twitter. Um, threads will be part of the Instagram platform, so it will be connected to millions of accounts, and it's not starting from zero. Although Mr. Musk has been praised and quarters. Blah, blah, blah. So let's see how that goes. Um, personally, I'm interested to see how this kind of pans out. Um, I don't I don't know. I'm a little bit in two minds because I have a feeling, I have a feeling, right, that there's a big group of people who don't use both apps because I know I don't. I use Twitter mostly. I don't really use Instagram like that. And if I do, I use it just to kind of push the stuff that I'm doing. I don't usually do it to kind of browse on or whatever it may be. So I don't really engage with it too tough like everyone else does. And there's some people who have Twitter accounts but don't have Instagram accounts and vice versa. So we're just to see what happens. Will, the, will some of the Twitter people, you know, go over to Fred's? Will some of the Fred's people that went on Twitter... No, will some of the Instagram people that weren't on Twitter get on threads? Like, what will end up happening? I'm really curious to see how that kind of pans out. Obviously, I'm going to jump on it just to see what kind of, you know, what it looks like, how it kind of moves and what not, what the deal is. But I don't think it's going to be as big a success as people are making it out to be because I feel like people underestimate the niche that fucking Twitter appeals to and the kind of dominance it has in that little sector of the internet. It's going to be very difficult to kind of carve away at it. And then you think maybe Fred's will end up being a completely different app from Twitter anyway. It might not end, it might be the same on paper, but not actually the same in experience. We don't really know once it actually happens. So we have to kind of see when it happens. We have to see when that shit happens. But if you want to jump on it and grab your username, make sure you jump on there on Thursday, all right? Don't delay. Thursday, don't delay. 